We got to stop believing what we see on TV because once you die, you dead. People who live in the Tuscaloosa community are still healing after a shooting early Sunday morning left a 23 year old mother dead. Two people now face capital murder charges. One of those Darius Miles, a former Crimson Tide basketball player. Both suspects are awaiting their day in court, but now safety is a major concern for those who live in the city. ABC 3340's Kyra Purvis spoke with the Tuscaloosa community today and shares their thoughts on safety in the community. Do you have any concerns for your safety when you go out? I do. I, you know, as much as possible, but I do not allow fear to stop me from doing what I need to get done. Goree has been a member of the Tuscaloosa community her whole life. When she heard about Sunday morning shooting, the news broke her heart. It's a sad situation simply because so many lives are being affected. 20-year-old Michael Davis and 21-year-old Darius Miles, both charged with capital murder, and 23-year-old Jamia Jonay Harris, now dead. Gori saying each were far too young for any of these outcomes. Because I'm finding out even though our children are growing up, they're losing their identity. Garrett Leopard feeling the same way. You know, I hate that uh, young people think that they need a pistol everywhere they go. You know, it's not the Wild West out here and things can be handled in other ways. Leopard is a property manager for student housing around the University of Alabama, with this already being the fifth homicide in Tuscaloosa since January 1st, 2023. Parents have already begun to show concern. They see the growth here and they read about the crime that goes uh, that goes on in Tuscaloosa and the downtown and the strip area. And it does worry them a little bit about sending their kids here. Now the question still stands. How do we make members of the Tuscaloosa community feel safe in their own backyards? Well, the Tuscaloosa Police Department says a heightened amount of patrols in the area is the first step to making that happen. In this statement, the department ensures extra staff has been allocated for downtown foot patrol, saying we have assigned more officers than usual to work the weekend's details, and we will continue to do that for the next several weekends. District 1 Council Member Matthew Wilson agreeing with the approach. It's imperative that we allow the experts to do what they need to do. But Gori believes it's going to take much more than that. Being a mother to four and a grandmother to 10, she says if the community wants to see an end to gun violence, the change must begin at home. What we try to do is love on them, let them know that violence is out here, and then you have to pick your battles. You don't have to fight with everybody. It's just to a point now where you have to use common sense and you have to live to see another day. And that was Kyra Purvis reporting. Darius Miles and Michael Davis both entered request for preliminary hearings this week. The hearing is scheduled for February 7th at the Tuscaloosa County Jail. Miles is also asking the court for a bond hearing.